fault. It, just, it blew my mind, no pun intended. But they, the, right there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but when everybody loved them on TV, yeah. they saw them and they loved them, never questioned their sexuality until they found out. And then it was taboo. Yeah. And then, and, and that was too, like in the 80s growing up, you know, movie stars, even in the night, as far as the 90s, was that movie stars had to stay in the closet. Yeah. Because if they were an out gay man, leading man, then the women weren't going to buy tickets to see you right. because the fantasy's gone. Rock Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. Prime example. Oh, but he was sexy. He was delicious. Oh, my God. Pillow Talk's one of my favorite movies. <gasps> Me too. <gasps> oh, my God. Are Doris you kidding? Day yeah, It's like one the of my best. favorite fucking movies. I own it. I just watched it probably like a year ago again. I uh, love watching that movie. She so was good. so great in it. And he was phenomenal. And, like, he was yeah, and so her charismatic. Maid, oh, oh, everything. Hysterical. I forget her name. I forget, too. But yeah. it, watch so good. Pillow Talk. If uh, you love good old Hollywood, classic Hollywood movies, Doris Day and Rock Cousin. Just... Yeah, genius! It was so good. Tony but, Randall. Oh yeah, Miss Thing. Oh my God, Miss Girl. Well, he was straight. Yeah. Oh sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Miss the odd couple. Yeah, because he was in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> he was pumping out semen at seventy, having kids. Isn't that semen? Crazy? I can't even <laughs> hear them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn is here. Hi, I think. I think. 